All right, it's about sunset. I'm on the Deschutes River. I've just got a six ounce rooster tail with a brown body and a silver blade. Get skunked, I don't wanna get skunked. Get skunked, I don't wanna get skunked. Get skunked, I don't wanna get skunked. I just got skunked. So I'm gonna start close in and then cast farther out so I don't spook them. I feel the scum coming. I feel the scum coming. I'm switching. Little Rapala, number five. Alright, let's try this little one. Getting skunked at the river. Getting skunked at the river, part two. As soon as I try to do a catch and cook, I'm getting skunked. I was catching them like crazy before, but that's fishing, right? Well, it's 8 in the morning the next day, and I'm at it again. It's like 34 degrees out, so this might not be a good idea, but I really want to catch one, so I'm going to just give it another shot. I'm just starting out with this Rapala, because that's the last thing I had tied on. Can't really see any fish surfacing. I don't know. Try it anyway. Skunky. Guess third time is not the charm. Three skunks in a row now. Guess I'll try it another day. All right, I'm back to the same spot. I have like 10 minutes to fish. It's like 55 out now, it's so nice. I can see a bunch of flies over on the surface, so we'll see. All right, I got 10 minutes to fish, I better go. What a beauty. Well, I got slime all over my jacket, but it's worth it. You always want to bleed your fish in the water. Man, am I lucky too. There's a spinner here for me on the ground. That's awesome. Panther Martin, black and yellow. It's got a bunch of line on it. Try to pull that line in, I guess. Well, it looks like we're eating tonight. Can't believe that. Went three times and fished for like three hours with nothing and, and I caught that one in like five minutes. I'm gonna cook this over an open flame. All right, so we're just gonna build a little fire pit in the backyard, cook this fish. Kitchen, cooking, yeah. Here's a cool little trick for starting a fire. I like to just make little rings from a paper bag and add some olive oil. Add it on some juniper and charcoal on top. Really nice smell to that smoke. I cleaned the fish, removed the backbone, and used some maple syrup, Mrs. Dash, and salt for seasoning. Wanted to try a new way to cook trout by cooking it on a stick of pine with some skewers. Cooked it for about 10 minutes on each side and roasted some hot dogs over the fire while I was at it. I gotta say, it worked great. Really smoky flavor and the maple syrup did the trick and made it nice and sweet. The meat was a real nice color and tasted like salmon. Only problem was I should have deboned the fish before cooking as I was stuck picking out some bones. But there's always next time. Catch and cook, baby, yeah, we don't stop. Whether it's a drop shot or a spinner, go and catch some dinner. If you get skunked, don't be a punk. Get your line back in the drink. You can't rewind, so just think about trout. Rainbow, brook, brown, a sea trout, it's all good. Lake trout, that's what it's about. Let's hear it for goldens, cutthroats, and splake. Hit the lake or hit the river. Catch a silver trout. Tiger trout, bull trout, cut bow Apache, whether the native or come from a hatchery. Comment down below how you cook trout. Subscribe if you're feeling a vibe. Uh, come on, Aurora trout, Kearney's, Coastal Cutthroat, Colorado. Hello, fire pit.
No, say it's for real.